The um, you spoke before about being a you know offering small batch brewing packs. Mm. Now, can you give um give me a bit of a bit of a rundown on what the difference is between brewing small batch and brewing you know a larger volume? Number one and number two, if you could please run me through the exact process of taking a um, taking the raw materials what equipment you would need to put them into from a from a small batch brewing perspective and uh, what the process is from there to be able to produce the end product oh it's a really it's a really good question so the first thing i'd say is i've never been a large batch brewer so um brewers who might be listening to this mm. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of them have been small batch brewers uh, and they've gone into the large batch brewing and that's where they found their, their, their passion. So I've always been in what we call, I guess, the home brewing, but the small batch is what we like to call it. Um, so Australia's pretty unique. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Australia's pretty unique in, um, in our sort of history on home brewing. So Cooper's... Uh, brewery started up, uh, I, I believe they started in the early 80s or maybe even the late 70s with effectively wort kits that they came out with. So mold extract that ha- has that wasn't fermented, that was uh, made in the brew house and they simply added yeast to these. Uh, I think they might have even come in plastic bags back in those days in a box. And back in... I might be getting my history a little bit out, but back in the 80s sometime, they came out with a malt extract can, the famous sort of Cooper's can that used to be available in the supermarket and so on. And that's where a lot of um, our brewing culture came from. So we've got a lot to thank the Cooper's guys in uh, South Australia and really uh, introduced our our industry to, to easy access brewing. And so from there, what's has developed is a real culture around making beer with home brewing using malt extract um, which is essentially the the mash grain and the concentrated wort uh, where you then use it you add water back in and your ingredients to make to make beer Um, so i really think here in australia and perhaps places like new zealand where lion nathan does have a very high quality malt extract extract plant in Dunedin and they make products for home beer making brands such as Blackrock and, and beer makers um, which are not commercial brands but they're home home brewing brands the quality of the product is so high that it is it's just so easy to make really high quality craft beer if you like in small batches and we're talking say 20 litres um, if we were to compare that over to the US, there's been the culture that there was never really a great mod extract option like what Coopers had developed here. So their industry and their sort of DNA in this in this area was always all grain brewing, and uh, which is effectively making uh, a, a mash from a crushed grain, adding the hops, and every beer, of course, it's got the same ingredients: malt, hops yeast and water uh, and so they they've got a, a massive um, uh, sort of industry in, in in from from grain brewing from grain products is that just due to the is it is, is so the the quality of the Australian home brew is that a better quality purely because of the access to the base products the access to the raw materials in comparison to the US or is it just because of the culture around what base products and raw materials they use yeah that's a that's another good question I'm not uh, entirely sure how to answer that other than there are two so Coopers and uh, Lion Nathan through um, uh, the Blackrock and the beer makers brand that are made in New Zealand they're very high quality high grade brewing malts so obviously the key to making great beer, uh, I always say, is you've got to have you've got to start off with great quality ingredients. You've got to have get the balance right in terms of the flavour of the malts and the hops and so on. You've got to use the right kind of yeast, which is the same yeast that would be used at commercial at commercial brewing, and it's got to be brewed at the right temperature. So you get all those elements right, you're going to make a fantastic 
high quality beer. Now around around the world, there is another company over in the UK called Muntins. They make very high quality malt extract, but it's not prolific uh, everywhere. So.